Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start the Infinity War spoiler cast right around now. If you haven't seen the movie or don't care about, spo or rather care about spoilers, get then the fuck out of here. Just buy, buy, fucking leave. Yeah, More warning. You, you've gotten many warnings now. This is time for you to go away if you don't want to hear spoilers for Marvel's Infinity War. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to do a countdown. I'm going to say three, two, one. And, and then you on, all shout a different character. And then, on, and then a character that died. And then go. Wooly's going to say something very spoiler. All right. All right. You ready, Wooly? Okay. Three, okay. two, one. Spider Man's greatest power in both movies <laughs> is reminding you that he is a child and that he yes. doesn't want to die. That is the best, most strongest power he has. Otherwise, you're like, hey, man, cool, it's fun Spider-Man. But the moment he goes, oh, God, I'm about to fucking die. I don't want to die. I'm crying. That gets you hard every time because you remember. Hard it, with sadness. You remember in that moment that he is a baby boy. And that's his strongest power. Yeah. When he's swinging around, it's like, hey, I'm pretty much invincible. Uh, we, we... I'm not invincible if I'm melting into ash. So there's that. Also... There's that. When you watch Spider-Man melt into ash, <laughs> and you go, but wait, what about the announcement for Homecoming 2? Just cut to the Homecoming 2 logo fading into ash, live on screen. So let, let's start right there. Um, I, I look up this shit all the time. I know when the release dates are. I know when there's sequels pegged. I'm like, none. If anyone did not die via ash, they can all come back super easy. The characters that did not die via Ash, I don't know. Yeah, Some uh, of them are Loki gone and Heimdall uh, are other gone. way around. You mean to say? Yeah, you misspoke. Sorry, you mean misspoke. to say characters that did not get faded? Yes. Are probably gone for goodsies. Yes. I, yes. At least some of them. I'd I say I everyone who got horribly choked out or stabbed. I've never seen done. a man so happy he's dying than Idris Elba going, oh, thank Christ, <laughs> I can stop being in this schlock the, that I hate. The, uh, there is, I want to say, six, if not five, just full-on hostage situations mm. in the movie that are like, point the gun at the person's head, give me the stone, yeah. and then character goes... Okay, you win. It's, and it's like, like yeah, it like happens. Five or six. It happens. Okay, hold on. How many times has it happened? It, it happens. It has been like twice. Okay, Loki for sure. to Thor yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Then it happens. Uh, Gamora to her sister. Yeah. Then, then it, it happens. happens uh, uh, Strange and Iron Man. Strange and Iron Man. Then does it happen with Vision? No. It, uh, uh, Wanda and Vision. Uh, no. No, no. It then happens with uh, Star Lord the, and Gamora. Yeah, kind of. It's like a reverse thing. But but still, like it's the do the thing. Like friend dies or Thanos gets stone multiple times. It's all it it all pretty much always turns into. Oh, and then most of those Thanos characters get stone. fucking killed as a result of their dumbass actions. And the fun and and if you think about it, where if you were to have him torture them for the information or something like that, those characters would just like almost happily just die because yeah. self. Preservation is low for heroes. Yeah. But others' preservation is high. Well, what so about the shows... preservation of the universe, idiot? Exactly. And I really thought that Gamora was just going to let her sister rock. Like, I really expected that one to be like... Or there would be a trick up her sleeve or someone know, would come in and nah, say... But she's every, too good. One of those pen every one of those moments of like, don't give him the stone, let the person die things are all like, ah, I can't... They're heroes, that. man. Yeah. They're, um, they're big heroes. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it is a very fun. I no, it is not a very fun movie. It's a it's a good movie. I, I enjoy I enjoyed it, but I it's my I, favorite I, Avengers for yeah. sure. It was way better than Age of Ultron. Yes, um, it was. Thanos was played right. Uh, I enjoyed the way a, a, a good villain because my my greatest fear was like he's gonna be a big purple guy and, and he's gonna be weird and quirky or something or like Ultron tried to be. Yeah. but because they already kind of set him up most in, in some ways in other movies, mm -hmm. and they had those really great scenes where he wasn't being an evil guy right. and was explaining his actions. Which, as we know now, that if your villain, if you believe that your villain thinks he's right, then you have a good villain. At the same time, though, without death in the picture. I find it kind of hard to believe his motivations. Why? Because they don't fully make sense without death in the picture. 
because death yeah, is one that, like, to me, it makes sense. I just, he just wants to impress a girl. He's motivated to make you die. Nah, so man. So that he, right? Nah, nah. Here it's, here it's, it, it's different. It's not that it's, but, like, incomplete. But what I'm saying is, like, the, th the situation on his planet was one thing, but, um... Where's the leap that makes that become a universal requirement? He's an asshole. Done. So that's a little too simplistic, for I think. I'm as not a sure motivator. he's more an asshole. It's more like I don't want this to happen to so, other planets. Like the, that's it, it, all. It, the the leap makes more no sense. No matter what their their situations individually the, the, are. The well, leap. I, that, that's why it's like it's not really an asshole. It's more like being like I've realized this truth. Mm -hmm. Why can't everyone I, else? Which I, I think he says that. I think at the some leap point. makes more sense when you take his story in the timeline that he tells it to you, and that it's like he came to this conclusion mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. and everyone said you're nuts. He's definitely, and just, then yeah. and then he, nothing happened, thus leading to the destruction of his world. Like he and, presented this as and, as an option, and everyone yeah. was like, "No, get the fuck." So out. then he goes, "Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, it, done." It's, it's very clear that like it's it's sort of like. He's just nuts, and he's called the Mad Titan for and, fuck's sake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's just rolling with the plan. Um, when you think about when you think about the version of it where uh, he's trying to impress like my lady, yeah, right. Then that's a much with this little space fedora. It's a much more sort of clear like there's no negotiating here. Like you dying is good for me, right? But, but I think it works for comics, but in a movie, it'd be a silly premise. Well, here's the thing. It's very also clear that if you introduce death, which twice I was like, oh. Yeah, Are they I know, doing I know it? one of them. Fucking Red wait, Skull. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't marked out that hard because, again, it was something that was, like, not known. Yeah. And I, yeah. I long since gave up on Red Skull being, like, a thing anymore. So when they clearly had not Hugo Weaving, who doesn't give a fuck, yeah. and they recasted him for that one little bit part, I just was like, is he death? Is like I thought at first. This is death. Oh, right? okay, okay. And then when it showed it was Red Skull, I was like, Red Skull is death. Right. Okay. And then I'm like, no, he's it's just, just not death. It's just a guy, an asshole, in a cloak. Yes, and it's a thing that would happen in a comic book, which is, you know, what the fuck is Red Skull doing out here? Like that's yeah, a very yeah. comic book page moment. Yeah. It's the end of one issue. Mm -hmm. It's the end of issue three in the run of six, right? When he dies and Cap dies in Captain America, he died. Went Avenger, back and looked. He totally just gets transported he just gets out of the space. Sucked into a thing. So um, fucking awesome. That was cool. <laughs> And then the second one was when he's looking in the his pa his memory palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see the the, the silhouette in yes. the distance, and yes, I'm like, oh, is that her? And it's like, no, it's not. No. But fully admit and understand too that death existing in this world creates so many more problems. Yeah. With the now you have to explain her person her concept and all of the uh, Eternals and all of the Celestials I think it's and only, the things that relate to... Is it only Eternity that Death gives a shit about? Well, except, except, except for Deadpool. The, is it, it's like Eternity is like the one kind of being that's a serious being where it's like, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, Eternity's it, cool. It, it's the, the, like, it has to make the entire upper echelon of, like, echelon of, of Marvel's universe figures, like personifications. Yeah. Like they suddenly have to exist in co and like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. a layer of Marvel that has not been touched. And they haven't right? even shown Celestials. They've shown a Celestial's head, which is what Nowhere is. But if they're not touching upon that shit, at may, least yeah. Ego, he's like, I'm a Celestial or whatever he said he was. So it totally makes sense that, you know, uh, there, that it, it doesn't go that route for the MCU. But uh, all that to say that like Thanos was still done really well. And yeah. uh, I really do like the fact that, um, yeah, the, the the worry of that quirky over the top stuff. They just they really dialed it back and gave you just dude on a mission, straight up, very almost normal and casual about it. Yeah, you know, like um, confident. The there's some some bits where like okay, there's no punchlines characters on screen, so time to just turn Banner into the guy that's tripping over his own balls. And doing the goofball. Hey, no, guys, lines. guys, no space. Because Banner is the only one. But he's the only one that's like a normal I, human I, being. I do think that's at least consistent because that's what he kind of was in Ragnarok. Where yeah, he's like, I can do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Bruce Banner is just as useful as the Hulk. Is he though? Yeah. yeah and he's yeah. like it. But you know what? I realized there was one of those futz shots. And the shot that we've all seen in the trailers where every, the team is running. is running in Wakanda. There. You see the Hulk. So I and now went, he's been replaced with Banner in a Hulk buster. I, I have went back and watched that, that trailer didn't happen. right after the movie. 
like a third of the shots in that trailer are just at like straight just up fake. lies or composites. Even, even the, the line of "I don't smile much," but when when that it comes line's to, not in the movie, it's not in there. Also, one they, doesn't consider uh, yeah, fun. Yeah, a fun when, when balancing, when the, universe, balancing but the universe. This makes me smile. Um, they what? they uh, photoshopped the, all the stones except for power and space out of every Thanos shot in those trailers. You know what? You know what? I'll take in a world where I'm not going to get tone trailers. Lie to me. So you know, you yeah, know why yeah. they did that, right? It's really obvious because if you, if if you, the, the stones were visible on his hand, you could take, you could fucking map out the path of the entire movie and and such. Um, the other thing too, though, is like, yeah, but like the whole lie to me thing. Like I remember, like Advent Children and shit like that, where it's just like, oh my god, what happened? Where'd that even go? Uh, regardless, though, that um, the, the 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 movie. It's weird because it's like the thing I respect it for the most is also its biggest flaw. Mm -hmm. And that is the level of juggling you have to do with an ensemble cast. You have cast. to separate everyone into groups. It's so hard. You're not allowed to have the, the 40 people in the room. It's so fucking hard to juggle that many people. And they did it adequately, but... There were points where it got to be a bit much. Really? Like what? I what um instance? just well more. I, I kind of feel like they they had to jump around uh, uh, in moments where imagine a Game of Thrones episode where you'd spend all day at the wall, mm. right? You get to pace things out a little bit so that you don't feel um, uh, uh, you don't feel like like uh, like ADD about it. You don't mm -hmm. feel like you're just like going, oh my god, we're fucking jumping I, all I over know. the place I really didn't, I suddenly. I really feel that. I felt that a, it's it a was... feeling of paced relatively well and that like I, they need to separate those groups for as sure. much as possible for sure it was it, it, it got a little claustrophobic but it had to you know and that's well what I, it won't need to in the next one oh well, yeah because the stables have been cleared yeah i i walked out and looked at the poster and it's it's not 50 percent of the cast it's closer to 70 percent of the active cast a lot more when, gets when, dusted. when you realize you're like oh, okay every, all right everyone's going by now i'm like okay well he's staying there oh okay him too oh wait what because they would linger at different amounts because because it's a movie cinematically, they have to show it all sequentially and not instantly like it would be. Dude, you know who's a fun-loving, great guy? Who's Star Lord? That, that's right. <laughs> so you, now I knew. Well, I, before, I knew. Before, I called. Hold on. Before yeah. we go there, I want to point yeah. out, like in terms of movies that exist or in terms of popularity, I walked in 100% certain. Oh, Cap and Tony's, they're done. Yeah, they're there are no done. more movies for them. And then I walk out. It's like okay. Every single member of the Guardians of the Galaxy and Black Panther and Spider-Man, the most popular out of all of them, just gone. Well, uh, Rocky made this point to me. It's like, oh, so we're back to the original Avengers. Yeah. Because that's <laughs> all that's left. <laughs> and then they can all actually die next time. And then... Yeah. Uh, but so Star-Lord, the fun-loving so, so, guy. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion about the dust to come. But, but, but in terms of uh, Star-Lord, here's the thing. As I also knew, I'm like, there has to be that moment where they almost do it, right? Yeah, and they it almost fails. did it. It has to happen. Like this, this is the type of story that requires that. And yes, you got it to the point where it came off. Like I didn't think it would get as far as to the fingertips. The gauntlet is off completely, but they literally do. That and moment is genuinely infuriating because you have to now. Oh, they won. Oh, they actually won. To make that moment work, you have to sacrifice a character. And in terms of just like, oh, you fucking, like, I, so, oh, you're that bad. So I've been right? thinking about this Star Lord a gets the shaft for the movie because he goes, because clearly, like, it's the thing where it's like, okay, no one respects him compared to all these yeah. actual hero Avenger men, right? And it's, and it's, it's funny because that's what it's the Guardians are. They're a bunch of fucking. And punks, Peter slams him with right? Footloose. That, was, that hits. That hit my theater so. Oh hard. yeah, but ultimately, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never was. It never was. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, you go. Yeah, but in the end, Star Lord figures it out his own way, in a goofy ass way, and he saves the day and stuff. It's like, and nah. here you go. Oh man, no, you are now the asshole. To that be fair fucked though, it up. Thanos woke up before Star Lord could actually fuck it up real bad. 
Like he just burst out of Mantis's thing before like what that transaction really. No, well, if he didn't punch him like that, if he didn't she start, wouldn't have let go. If, if he didn't oh, start okay, his okay, head, okay, okay, it, the, so what happens I, I, is he gets pissed off and starts pistol whipping the I shit meant, out of Thanos. Right before that, yeah, and then that causes the trauma he feels transmits to her. And she lets go. She lets go, and the process completely. So. You know, to be fair to Star Lord, we didn't know it at the time. Plus, but he did this in the last movie they where totally someone said. totally set this up they, in the last yeah. movie. And we cheered for him last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when Ego mm -hmm. says to him, Yeah, I killed your mom, and there is a zero yes! second pause. Yes, yes, yeah. Before. <laughs> Shit. Before. You're super he, right. He pulls the guns out and oh, blowing him fuck. away. Oh we, my God! You're so right. We it's all a being that he totally like does that. Powerful. Oh fuck! We all started to cheer. They you telegraphed that? it. Yeah, you remember yeah. that? That's who he How is. How loud you cheered? Because it's the best. Right. Guess what? It's not the best. It's not the best at all. Oh wow! You're so it right. It caused on that. a big problem this time. That's why I'm fine with it because it fit him. That's cool. I expected it almost. That's really, I they, like that. There's a character that has been established that as soon as you say you killed their friend or mom or love interest or whatever, they go nuts. I don't give a fuck. And they go bang, bang, bang. Yes. Well, yes, yes, that yes, character yes. happened to be there. That was, yeah, no. And that to totally. Totally, like, totally. All right. Yep. 100%. I was disappointed that, uh, 100%. We that knew. Peter yeah, Dinklage totally. did not play Puck. Oh, no, Pip. The, the imp guy that hangs around Adam Warlock. Okay. There is strong rumors that there's going to be because A, he looks like him. B, he's a dwarf. And I'm like, yeah, dwarves. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh, wait. He's there's a giant dwarf. Giant dwarves. <laughs> that whole bit was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I got spoiled on that in a weird way because I saw a set, a action figure set that says, for oh, getting yeah. his Stormbreaker set. Yeah. Play set. Might as well say Thor gets Beta Ray Bill's hammer. Yeah, yeah, he does. Because that's what it fucking axe. is. That was his axe is probably the weirdest part of the whole movie to me. Is because they go through the trouble of showing that Thanos is now the god being of all god beings, and Thor beats him in like one second, and only loses because he, you know, he didn't he hit him in the head. It's like wow, that's some fucking axe. Mm. That it just blows well, through the whole gauntlet, no problem. When it explains that, like, hey, well, this is... I'm using the technology that made the gauntlet yeah. to make your fucking axe. So I, I'll believe that. So, like, I so, could not believe that they have the moment where he gets all six and he throws the beam out. I expected Thor to get incinerated, but like, oh no, fucking good matchup for Thor. The uh, the other bit too is that it really did feel like I fucking the, love Thor in this movie. Well, yeah. the, it felt like the only one who fully knew what he was doing was Strange. Yeah. And, yeah, because he's the magic man. And so I guess the idea now too is in the hostage situations he that all go win. bad, we fucking MK9 it. Yeah. He must he win. He MK9s it because it's, like it's the only one possibility. Tony has to be around for the sequel so that the, the sequel rest of works. It. Exactly. Because Tony's going to think up some technological hullabaloo to strap on to Carol and Adam and then they'll be every down. Every version, every version of, of reality that he was looking into was one where he gets to the ultimatum and he goes, fuck it, I'm not going to let Tony, uh, Tony's life matter more than giving him the stone. And then Tony dies and then the whole thing fails. Yeah. And then there's one where he lets Tony stand, stay around and then that leads to them saying, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. must win. I think so. And um, right now, here's Thanos must win. But, yeah, but the whole thing now, right, where you've got these dust dust people, <laughs> right? You got the dust babies, and you and you got to figure out, like, do we undo all of it? Because some of it is contractually beneficial to some actors. Yeah. As we're getting close to the end of this twenty-two. Okay, movie who's contract? Who who do you think then? I don't know. No, like I do. I have no idea. Well, not fucking Black Panther. Certainly, he's and, gonna be around. And not you. And like again, Tom like Holland's you've got the logo around. for the, the rumor, Homecoming two. The rumor for a long time was that Homecoming two was gonna be Miles. Prequels. Oh. 
that took place before, before. Infinity War. Ant Man and Wasp. What is that gonna be? Is so, that gonna be a movie where uh, we were talking about this right before? It's like yeah. it, halfway through the Ant Man and Wasp movie, does half the cast just turn to dust? And then the movie just goes, oh, whatever the fuck, small time That'd heist you were so doing. Cool that for movies for a little while. Yeah. Until whatever stupid ass heist you were doing has nothing Marvel, on this after shit. Ant Man Marvel has no movies for the rest of the year. Then it has. Um, uh, Marvel. Uh, uh, Captain Marvel. Here's Is the other. Avengers? Here's the other feeling, right? And it's just. And it's hard to say, but it's just a feeling. But it's like, um, Nick Cage going out on a joke like that. Yeah. Feels almost like ah, oh, you gotta you gotta run it back though, because it was a joke, right? No. It wasn't real. Yeah, it was super. Yeah, real. but that Nick that Nicholas Cage jokes all the time. It does. So it felt honestly like it didn't feel heavy until Peter was like. I'm do- uh, oh uh, God! Uh, Why'd you have to feel so heavy? Some, yeah, Peter, somebody, Peter uh, really cracked it. Somebody pointed out to me that he gets it so much harder because his spider sense must go off. Yeah, and his spider sense goes, "You're dead. You're mm-hmm, you're dead. Mm-hmm, you're mm-hmm. you're dead now." Mm-hmm. The slowly developing. <laughs> Did I say Nick Cage? I said Nick Cage. Oh, I said Nick, Nick Fury. Cage too. We want to say Nick Fury. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, fuck it. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um. Okay, I've been thinking about this. Here's how you fix all the problems we've been talking about. You mm-hmm. ready? All right, let's go. They're going to fi- – one, Adam and Carol have a lot to clean up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, wow. Is Adam even going to get played? They, they set him up at the end of Guardians 2, which means I he'll know. play no. the Guardians 3, which will then the go Guardians to – The Guardians 3 is coming out after. After? After Avengers. Okay, well – I don't, I don't – I'm not sure if he'll be – They got to do something with that boy. You know, what's interesting, too – He's literally made to kill Thanos <laughs> – Adam Warlock. You know what's surprising? Like yeah. You know what's surprising though is like, uh, of all, everyone gets a scene because in these crossover games, animes, movies, everything, everyone, needs to get everyone their gets scene. their scene, right? And uh, fucking Batista gets multiple. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus, uh, some things. You really, I what I was surprised by was Cap didn't. Cap got one that one moment of levity with Groot. Yeah. Yes. And then he didn't get but, all that much to yeah, say. Yeah, Cap, Cap didn't, and, and, and trailers, neither did uh, neither did um, uh, Black Widow. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. But um, in the trailers, it made it made Cap seem like he was a big deal. Like, oh, get this man a shield, and he's coming out of the darkness, and there he is. But he's just gonna he's gonna get his in really the entire tired. next movie. Yeah. though. Mm-hmm. it's gonna be like all him and Tony. Basically. Uh, so here's how you solve this problem. They're going to solve the problem in the next one. They have to because a story can't take place in the in a depopulated Earth. That's just too weird, yeah. right? So, okay, we're going to solve the problem, but I think it is important that they solve it badly. They mostly solve the problem. Let's say they get back almost everybody. Oh, no, so-and-so whose contract ran out, they didn't make it. Well, or, it, it what, or whatever. It's the people who got iced before they got, like, No, but I'm saying. If you got your neck snapped, if you fell down a big it, hole. If you got impaled. If you got impaled, no, you're gone. I, w- I want the answer to this question to be, like, a fucking bullshit, like, real comic book bullshit scenario where it's not a rollback. It's they change something to bring everybody back and introduce accidental changes. Such as, okay, we rolled it back into a different version of Earth that had well, the just, X-Men here the whole I time. I just imagine some shenanigans would happen <laughs> with the was, Reality Stone. Earth like 617. Stone. Yes. Yeah, but they, they announced that like literally will not get the rights for X-Men until 2020. Okay, well. Well, after Homecoming 2 ends and the whole, and the first, whatever you want to call it, saga ends, yeah. and they begin the new one, do you think that's where they actually attempt to unify everything? I want a reverse I, House of M. I'd say so. Yeah. I want an accidental mm-hmm. whoopsie all mutants. Uh, I'll, I'll say the other thing that actually did bother me a little bit about the movie, but there's not much you can do about it. It's just like you can't fight Thanos the entire movie. <laughs> so let's have some generic fucking gray slobs come in. And I looked that up. up Those are them. existing characters. Those, the, I know black, they are. the black, uh, the black hand, the, I believe. No, 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 no. Uh, obsidian, uh, call, obsidian call hands? order, uh, the call order, the black, black. Yeah. Black order, I believe. Anyway. And, um, yeah. And the thing was, is like that scene with it's the needles, could, well, like the expectation based on the character was that it was going to be him breaking strange yeah, yeah. into talking. And then it was like, no, it was just pain. It was like, oh. Uh, but yeah, I the Black Order, the, totally. They're, the, they're, they're like a list of... No, I know, but like existing. their designs is like, I will never remember them ever. Look, that one's going to fight Hulk. 
Yeah, the guy that looks like he's the villain of a DC movie, yeah, he'll fight the Hulk for a little bit. You know, like the telekinesis guy, the Ma, I believe. He's the best one. He's the best one because he has the most screen time. But the other people, it's like one of them had some glow stick. Two of them had sticks. And one of them had a... One of them was very big. Like, I, they, there's no time to mm-hmm. give motivation mm-hmm. to these guys. But they have to fight something. Mm-hmm. So basically... There's not much they could have done here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but I was still like, let's let's beat these guys. Let's get them out of the way, please, because they're clearly not going to survive. Let, okay, I don't know much about comics. I I just scrape Neither up knowledge. Uh, how busted is Captain Marvel? Very so, busted. So so here's the thing. Captain Marvel is your uh your like no Green Lantern is more the Nova equivalent, but Captain Marvel is. Flying and big Kamehameha beams. Right. And occasionally going Super Saiyan. And, All right. I didn't know that part. And uh, Captain Marvel is like a Superman. Is she? The question is, the, the thing is, is based on her power set, you can make that number as big as you want it to be. Okay. It, it just goes. So if they wanted her to just be the problem solver, yeah. Carol could literally just come in and be the problem solver. Okay. But she's not so strong that she's like, undo reality like that no. yeah she's just the punch shit to make it work type yeah. one thing i have to say is that since the captain marvel movie is a prequel and takes yes. place in the 1990s yes you better give me a good reason why she's been gone why when nick fury is watching ultron destroy a country nick fury's like because she's out in space She's out in space. She's in hibernation. Something. I think, Just I think, make sure to give me a reason yeah, why I, I you could have called her to, like, I don't know, save New York. I saw people talking about... <laughs> That's all. Captain uh, Marvel is out in space doing I, space shit. I saw the implication from some people saying is that, you know, in Guardians 1, there's a peace treaty between the Skrulls and the Kree. Yeah. The imp- is that she's busy... She was the one that did that? ...doing that instead of solving the Ultron problem. Yeah. Which stopping that big old space war and dealing with the scrolls seems, would be more possible. more lives to deal with S- than speaking one of Captain in a floating Marvel, country during the the uh, the post credit scene, right? And it's zooming in on the whatever the BlackBerry, the the fucking yeah, the, pager. The, the pager, yeah. So I'm watching. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be Captain Marvel or whatever. But the guy behind me goes, Hawkeye. Oh, Okay, and, and I literally turn around and go, "Yeah, he'll he'll solve it." That's like weird. not I, like Hawkeye, like ha ha Hawkeye's like, "Yeah, Hawkeye." I mean, my, imagine that. My imagine. Uh, my first guess when I saw the thing, I was like, "Is that a new Nova logo?" And I was like, "No, yeah. no, red and blue." But I was, no, I, man, it's clearly Cat Marvel. Yeah, yeah, well, no, of course, because I. But it also makes no sense because I was like. He came from Xandar first. Xandar got wiped off screen. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, what the fuck? But, like, yeah, no, it's 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 Carol. Exactly. So. Um, if there's suits of you in your... If there's pictures of you in your suit, that means that the post credit scene will be about you. Yeah. So. Unless, unless, yeah. <laughs> Unless, unless Hawkeye's got that, yeah, that, that, the Titan arrow. So, <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Probably one. the most interesting to me thing to me about the ending wasn't even that everybody melted into dust. It's that after Thanos snaps his fingers and everybody turns to dust, you get a shot of the gauntlet, and the gauntlet is like scorched. Done. It's scorched into bullshit, and it's, and it's completely useless. Yeah, and it's like, oh, they're not going to be able to just pick the gauntlet back up and just solve the problem. So perhaps the reason why this is the one chance that they have against the fourteen million that fail is because him using it means it's done. And then whenever they find a way to run it back, the gauntlet up, remains. Just, yeah. The gauntlet remains. Done. And he did wreck that place pretty bad, so mm-hmm. there's not going to be a sequel to that gauntlet. Also, did did Thanos teleport to like a ranch on Earth? No, he teleported <laughs> to some. I, it was. He's got all of it, so he could he could be in a, his mind space. Was, I'm like, was anywhere. that actually? It was an Earth-like alien it, planet. It looked like Earth. Yeah. It's it's. It, it was, was his vacation and, and, well, house. But, no, but the house looked Earth-like, too. It did. Yeah, so I thought, no, I'm like, it was his vacation house it was on, his Earth on, 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 on Talos 4 or whatever. I actually really like when he sat down. He's like, oh, long day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Fucking did it, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like, yo, where's my Netflix? Get me a beer. And Thanos is checking, like, streams, and he sees, like, Kappa everywhere. It was like, oh, shit! <laughs> He fucking did it! <laughs> but there's 50% champ. less Kappas than normal. Pog champ. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, 
And he's also fucking stabbed in the chest too and shit. Right? No, he's fine once he snaps his fingers though. I'd assume so. I, I don't remember if he had the chest wound when he, did when he not. sat down. No, he he was so. he was totally fine. But yeah, like I was I was I'm, I was there. Yeah, where was Valkyrie? That so someone asked where were you? And she's a and, goat. And she's a goat. <laughs> what? Uh, the actress that plays Valkyrie in, in um, uh, um, Ragnarok, uh, uh, Tessa Thompson. Tess, Tessa Thompson. Uh, she was like, I think she either said or she, she tweeted, thought "Here's she... me in Infinity War," and it's just uh, Bucky holding a goat, and she just loves goats. So what she, the she's fuck? Like, it me because she should have been in the opening scene. Yeah. So well, she's I dead now. I'm assu- if she did not die, then she's not dead. You know what? You know what? If there was not a scene of her dying or you someone know what saying got me? she died, that one part. There's one part where Thanos's villainy is slightly inconsistent, and I hope somebody got fired for it. You know how he kills half of Thor's ship, mm-hmm. and Thor's like, "He killed half my people." Mm-hmm. He also blew the fucking ship he up. He blew the ship up. Like, yeah. They when they got there, <laughs> they were floating through space. For Those sure. people are fucked. Uh, was um, when, when at the end of Ragnarok. Yeah. The ship that pulls up. That's Thanos' ship. That's Thanos' Absolutely. ship. It's it's like a two minutes later thing. And I get in my head, I was like, oh, it's the Guardians for some wow, reason. That's super and bad. I was like, I think, I think you or, or someone said that to me, and I was like, oh. And know. then and then uh, in the trailer, I for some reason when Thor meets them, I for some reason <laughs> like, oh man, draw drew the connection that that was him and the Thor ship crew that's, meeting them. That's and a messed up. It thing. couldn't have played out differently. So I, you different. know, yeah. I like Thor Ragnarok a lot, and I feel like this movie like straight Undoes up a lot of fucks up Thor Ragnarok all <laughs> over the place. Because remember the line where uh, fucking uh, Odin's like, "You're not the god of hammers." You're, what are you, the god of thunder? You're a badass. And then the start of this movie Remind like, me what you're the god of again? Dude, I need dum, the... Dum, 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 it's like, dum, dude, I need, dum, the, dum, I need dum, the biggest dum, hammer dum, ever. Oh. I need the bigger river hammer. And it's like, okay. And it's like, look, we saved Asgard because Asgard is its people. The, fucking within 10 minutes, Thor is now the only Asgardian alive in the universe. Basically. And, and so on and so know. forth. Like, but he's got his eye back. Yeah, also he loses his eye. I, no, no I give him his eye this. back. I hate this. Apparently the reason why is because it's like I can't – it's hard to act with one eye, so I'd rather just not well, have that now, on my eye. Now, well, now like, everyone – Can't you just CG the eye patch on his <laughs> eye then? Yes. Now everyone is mustache, beard, blonde. Yeah, blonde. I think he looks awesome with the eye patch. Yeah. Or a scar. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. The uh, the other bit too was like they, he keeps trying to get a Hulk out. But like Hulk just it eats weird. it super hard I assume in the beginning. Hulk is scared of Thanos. Yes. That's because how I that's took yes, that. exactly. That's absolutely, it. that's awesome. Hulk lost hard. Hulk Can, go away definitively, and he's being a child. It's awesome. Uh, in the red in the red letter media, a uh, half the bag they do. Mike brings up something great where the movie starts and goes. I wonder if Hulk could beat Thanos. No, and that's that. But that's been the question of every single part of all these movies. Yeah, is. Hulk because his anger just do it. Hulk isn't allowed to be in a room with the big bad for too long because yeah. they, he just thrashes them to bits. Because anger enough time. Because anger wins, right? Right, and then Thanos just kicks his ass like it's nothing. With two stones, like no problem. Yeah, uh, like when Thor looks like he beats Hulk in the gladi- gladiator scene of Ragnarok, but then it's like, no, I still get too mad, and I will always come. I did kind of feel he lost to Thanos. A little too quickly. He's punching him very hard. They with could that have power drawn stone, it out though. just a bit more. Is big what I, I power meant. hard. Big power hard. Do fight, yeah. I think the whole point is that he gets bodied like a bitch. And maybe that is the point. And of it's that. like, oh, that's because then, because then it's Banner on Earth going, Thanos, come and he kicked my ass so bad. And people like, what, dude? Also, Ooh. <laughs> also, Thanos liked like they that, the scene with Gamora going, ha ha, you love nothing. It was like. You're telegraphing this a little too hard. A little bit. You a little bit. A lot. No, they For... telegraphed it too hard when he showed up at that planet with her. Yeah. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You should have, you should have like made it go a little faster. But also, it turns out he cares, except for all the times where he said he was like, "Yo, go kill Gamora," 
like when he instructed people in the previous movies. That, yeah, no, that, 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 that was love kills. That was love kills, though. That <laughs> was, that was, I, you're probably not going to kill her, though. But so, go kill her, yeah, though. Yeah, kill her. Yeah, I just Sorry. wanted to show I, I yeah, want to show yeah, I care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there were the gung ho guns coming after Vash. You're not really going to yeah, succeed, yeah, but, all. you know. Um, they they did try to explain away why she has to be there, where he's like, show me where it is on that planet. Or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, fine. But then when she appears and I see this big giant precipice of death, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Who's who's most at fault here? Is it Star Lord? Is it Gamora? Is it Doctor Strange? Uh, well, here's the thing. You can give it to Gamora, but Star Lord has I two can, moments. Of... I, can, I can give it to Gamora really easy. But I can give it but... to Gamora <laughs> because we already explained that that Star Lord. That's what but he Star, does. But Star Lord has two moments where What's the other one? here's here's where my... he had to shoot Gamora. Yeah, no, here's my he here, two. Here's my problem. Oh, and he had to. With, okay, yeah. with Gamora though. But but it was a bubble gun anyway. It was a reality. He I did don't shoot. Like... I don't like he did that shoot. being Thanos' go-to. Yeah? Reality Stone? I do. That's that's Green Lantern levels of stupidity. I was hoping we would get Thanos bubbles, and we got them twice, bro. I'm satisfied. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that a thing? Thanos bubbles? Yeah. It sure is. Oh, man. In fucking Marvel. That's what he does. He threw shoot. That's his projectile. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it to Gamora as the biggest, dumbest idiot, because... Later, when she figures out what he's doing with the Soul Stone, she tries to kill herself. We have now established that she has the the personal ability to self-sacrifice to stop Thanos, yes? Mm -hmm. And she begs Peter to shoot her and all that shit. So, instead of going to meet Thanos or running up and try and stab Thanos, she should have taken a gun out and shot herself in the mouth. Mm -hmm. But But she didn't know at that point. She should have done it. Once they were started to talk about Thanos, mm, yeah. like on the like instead of the conversation with Peter, where she's like, "If he ever gets me, she should have said, Peter, sorry, blat, done, right, universe saved." I, I think she meant if I can't even kill myself, which she didn't have a weapon at that point anymore. I don't know. I don't on think. the ship when they were chilling, she could have just. At which point he probably then gets the time stone and then runs it back. Well, the, but it would have been yeah. That would have been much harder. It would have been much harder. Yeah, it would have been much harder for sure. Uh, the only I, person of of like uh, uh uh with the stones for it is uh fucking Scarlet Witch. Good for her. Uh, yeah, she did it, but mm-hmm. she didn't want to. I'm gonna actually lots of characters she, but, would do it. Drax but, would do it. But it but Punisher if, would do it. But if she uh, if she did it faster, it might have harder, harder and faster. Yeah. 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 Uh, the last thing I'm gonna say is um, something that I talk about a lot. That is, I'm gonna go over back to fucking Fellowship of the Ring on this. All one, right, let's right? do that. Let's do that. But Frodo, Frodo it is, and Sam it is. making out. There's a thing that happens when really powerful reality controlling beings are fighting. Yeah. And it's very expensive and difficult to do. Mm. When fucking Gandalf fights Saruman in the first movie, yeah. and they're just old men shaking sticks at each other, yeah. it's the single most terrible fight I've ever seen in terms of magic battle. Okay, so where are you going with this? When it's going Thor, strange. Sorry, when Strange and Thanos are fucking shifting reality at each other, yeah. blocking crystals out of midair, turning things into butterflies, yeah. life and de- That shit is rad, and it is 100% what I signed up for. Right. Very and expensive. I said, at some point, when he's got at least four of those stones, and Strange is doing all he can and pulling out all the stops, because usually he's limited by not hurting things, and you yeah. know what I mean? When he's pulling out all the stops... And fucking and Thanos has a four stones. Of, he threw of, the mirror dimension at him. That <laughs> is what it should look like, and I'm so happy that they bought they they went there because yeah. a lot of beams and only beams and shaking things would have been lame. So, but getting into that space of what is happening and then multiples cre- created well, and it, then the illusions get broken it, and then you be, get the fucking the the, the six arm eight arm twelve arm moment to have strange what in his like one or two little scuffles that he has. To not have that, yeah, because that was all of Doctor Strange. Those were like the coolest parts where they're running up buildings and shifting everything around, like the that. mysticism combo. So if he was shooting like lasers, yeah, if it, if he was just playing Marvel, that would have been <laughs> daggers a of the neck. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's one of the things that also it's like Willie, you talked about how like it feels claustrophobic because they're jumping around to all the different groups and all that. Yeah, and it's like. <sighs> 
If they have the scene where everybody attacks Thanos, nobody gets their Doctor Strange moment where the one character, you're like, they're doing it. They're do like there's a moment, there's just the tiniest moment during that encounter with Strange and Thanos. Where he's doing where it. Where he's doing it by himself. Yes. And you're like, Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, no, wait, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And Tony gets that moment as well. He and, does. and a bunch of characters do. But if, if you get to put everyone's numbers if, and adjust them and it's as like, you go, yeah. If, yeah. If, if they had to do the thing where every single person went at him, it's like you would end up with the problem of like, wait, you have to make him so strong mm -hmm. that it's ridiculous later, mm -hmm. or you, or everybody has to just get bodied instantly, instantly and nobody gets a cool moment. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. He's just the stones make him just out of their reach as a team at the time that he has them. If if the gang fought. Thanos with power and if the gang that fights him on Titan fought him with just power and space, they would have taken him. That would have been a win. The love, the incremental is always just above where they need to be. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, uh, and, and then, of course, towards the end, you get the, like, think about Tony and how he held up. Yeah, he did pretty right? good. It was yeah. pretty, it wasn't bad. It's just better than Half-life, half-life, yeah. right? And then, you, and then you tag in Strange, and Strange did pretty fucking good. Fucking blows out of level five, second one. It was sick. On the tag. Uh, and, you, and you think there's even a moment where they show you, hey, Cap can do it, but it's really just him holding back a hand. Yeah, I, that was disappointing with that scene because it always cut off right there in the trailer, and I was like... All I don't know for. what I expect, but it's just all it's just saying, hey, Cap can do it. It's for just a showing second. you that like, yo, Cap, go. I, I, I think it's just the only calculations going yeah. on like that. Just that going, what? So that yeah. that bit isn't even about Cap. It's it's, it's about not. Cap and Thanos, because it's not about Cap screw ah! It's it's the look on Thanos' face going, going what? what? <laughs> yeah. But I just want to human. I just want to push my hand just a little bit, which why well, I don't get it. Yeah, Resistance? absolutely. Yeah, that's that is it's definitely about the why. I said this on Twitter weeks <laughs> ago that I love that they all, like not every movie because it would get old, but every other movie they'll be like, is Cap a god? Mm. He's done right. a couple of crazy things. He can here get you know really who is ripped. a god. Who? Mbaku. Yes. Mbaku. Basa. Ooh, 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 that's ooh, what he had to do. Ooh, and I was like, Basa. Yeah. Ooh, 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 Basa. Like that happens three times, and every time the fucking crowd marks out for yeah. it because they bring it back knowing it's the best part. Yeah. Everyone loves that forever. I like how Guy from Get Out Tribe is no longer <laughs> in Wakanda. They even talk about how they kicked him out. Yeah, just get uh, out of here. Ah, get out. Get ooh, out. We're going yeah. to have Man Ape run our army now because he's mm. cool. That's And like even when they're like, oh, I know a place, and you start to hear the soundtrack drums yeah. kick in, did you they notice, do it again. Did you notice Bucky is wearing the Bucky costume? It's all faded, but it's the jacket that has the buttons. Oh yeah, no, he's I didn't. Not, he's not winter soldiering. He goes, anymore. he goes into into the Bucky outfit. It's all grayish and Man. dark blue, but it's, I was still like, he's wearing with Bucky's the red. Thing. Uh, I, with the isn't there like a red line on it? I forget. I, I didn't realize. But that. Bucky dusting might have been the most shocking one out of all of them, even though he's just Bucky. Sad. Because I came into that movie going, me and me and my friend that went to see it had an argument over who was going to get the shield is it going to be cap uh, is it going to be bucky or falcon oh and we were we we're talking about because cap because yeah. cap's gone for sure uh, and yeah, then he yeah. turns around and bucky doesn't fade away like any of the rest of them he falls over and then just puffs Pops. Yeah, on yeah. the floor he puffs it. and you go oh yeah. oh shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then fucking roadie and 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 uh, uh and falcon and are looking around looking for each other and mm. You get that I moment. like how the only absolute villain in the entire movie was General Ross, where right. we're still like, fuck this yeah, guy, yeah. man. <laughs> He's the worst. He's the fucking He's the, worst. He's, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know he's a criminal. There's yeah. four criminals. <laughs> you think just because the universe is going to get killed, you uh, don't make out and, and some fun and, stuff? Like, shut up, Ross. Fucking robot legs roadie is like, don't mind my friend. Yeah. You know, like... Just turn off my uh, computer. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the absolute villain. Is General Ross a scrawl? Did you guys catch <laughs> after the final scene too? It says Thanos will return. Yeah, not yes, the Avengers yes, will yeah, return. Yeah. Good job. That's good. good. Job. I like Call that. it the Thanos 
injures. Also, people uh, point out to me afterwards that, or I, maybe I read it in the subreddit, where all the Mar- all the Marvel movies, all of them, have had these creative and music filled uh, credit sequences, and, and this, this one, silent. This one is not. dead silent with black Times New Roman. And when the logo kicks back in, the fucking Avengers Infinity War logo goes. It yeah, dusts just out. So they just wanted to nail it home. They actually do a really great job foreshadowing that shit when Panther tells Thanos will only find dust and blood here. Uh, yeah. And it's like, wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. They also do a good job foreshadowing it when everyone died in the Infinity Gauntlet like years ago when that was in the comics. Well, so, I, I, you know, oh, man. that's a thing too. But I do, like, spoilers. I do like that. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I do like that now part of comics as well is sometimes bad end before we lead to ultimate end. Yeah. So we get the weird experience that oh. is people walking out of a superhero movie going, oh, because yeah, that's so never happened yeah. before. Uh, Red Letter Media pointed out, it's like there's going to be a lot of crying nine-year-olds. This is your optimist moment. This is your optimist moment, but it's, it's, it's everybody. And it's the largest yeah. grossing opening of all time. Yeah. So everyone gets it's it, and they never had children's. this before. So. Thanks for having the balls for I at think, least part one. I think Tolkien had a this dumb way. term for this, which is called the U catastrophe, which is you have to have like absolute despair and then you're going to have absolute victory. So it's the opposite of a catastrophe. The next movie will be like yeah. joyous joyous, and towards the end. I don't know if it will because, like you said, like it might be like kind it of. It all depends on. Up. It all depends on Carol. It well, all depends you're, on Carol. You're gonna all, You're gonna have the moment where characters are crying and like people are fading, but like Cap's dying, but then Bucky comes to pat him on the shoulder. And he's like, I did it for you, Bucky. Ghost you know, Bucky. it's also possible that the Carol thing is just a plug for her movie and not necessarily a, she's gonna solve the problem. Well, no, but nah, the, the, she's in there. her movie takes place in the '90s to ignore this, but also so she can come back and solve the problem. Yes, yes, but but what I but I'm. Saying Saying like it could be more of a plug for well, that. Well, you know? of course it is, but it's like, hey guys, this is a bummer ending, huh? You want to find out how we you could fix it? Go find out about this hero who's in Ant Man and Wasp Ant-Man coming and out Wasp. in July. Ant Man would have been super useful on the fight of Wakanda if he just grew big. Ant Man would have been super useful if he climbed inside Thanos' ass, ass and, and just fucking... expanded to a thousand times his size or, and he just ripped him apart. Or the glove itself. Yeah. You know? Well, no, it's that almost not as if the they glove. Knew. If he had done it to the glove, Ant-Man would have probably killed himself. But if no, if he went inside the glove and then touched it, and then he's like, now I'm controlling it because I'm wearing it. Yeah. No. Then he gets to use it. Or he just pees all over Thanos inside the glove, and then Thanos like, ew, yeah, takes no. the glove off. Not bad. What if, what if Thanos started to shake the ground, and then he shook the ground too much, so much that he dropped the gauntlet like he did back in the day with the, well, with when the Tesseract? It took, when it took that, that long <laughs> for them to pull off the glove, I think it's kind of like glued to his arm pretty hard. Yeah. Should have. Crazy glue. Yeah. Adam Warlock, huh? Yeah. What if Magneto showed up to help the Avengers, but then, but then Thanos threatened him with a wooden gun? <laughs> He wouldn't even need to. He'd have a regular gun, but he would use the reality stone to make it look okay, like a wooden Matt, gun. Okay, I'm going to go and There's find it again. There's iron in your blood. I'm going to go find it again. Please make that the podcast you, video. You know? Just Magneto freaking out over the Oh, yeah. Gun. No, no. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. 100%. And title it like Infinity War Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. Yeah, you Why? can. Why? You can do whatever Why? you want. Um, Matt, uh, I have to send this to you. Uh, You know how the 60s Spider-Man is uh, uh, hilarious? Yes. The 60s Fantastic Four... No, no, I know. ...is... Oh yeah, you've seen all yeah, that. Yeah, I, I saw like, episodes of it back in the day, and I've it's like, unwatchable. Watched. There's a there's a supercut, much like the videos used to make. It it, it is. It's got the, Herbie Herbie the, it's robot. the fucking it, robot in the it, car. It, it's the funniest thing. It's ever. unwatchable. It's the funniest. Thing it used ever. to air on Teletoon all the time, and I fucking hate Willie, it. Well, if you don't put that up, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up on fucking Twitter like warning Infinity War spoilers and fucking post that video of Magneto with the fucking gun. And it involves two <laughs> characters that are not even in the. They don't even have the rights to them yet. <laughs> Fucking asshole, fine. Secret ending for Infinity War leaked. You fucking go upload it. Get that fucking clickbait. I'll do it. Do yeah, it. Matt will do it. Do it. And I'll make it public. You fucking coward. 
All right, I think we're good. I yeah. think we are good. It's a good movie. I'm glad everyone's dead. Yeah. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm glad some people are. Yeah. Hey, man, Thanos worked hard. He earned it. He earned that beer. He actually earned it really good. Yeah, he's, he's been working for years. Tried very hard. Bye. Bye. Bye.